Kreuzo. <lacht> Oh, 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 oh,
Get on with it! Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching this unboxing and installation of the Thermaltake Flow RC360 CPU and memory all in one liquid cooler. Hope you're able to follow that installation guide okay. I'll put timestamps down below so you can replay the various sections as and when you need to. And I'll also include links to the product pages and where you can buy one for yourself. So the Thermaltake Flow RC360 it's a really quality piece of kit. From the bucks to the screws, everything is finished really well and will suit a lot of builds. The CPU and memory block coal plates appear to have a really flat and consistent finish. The braiding on the hoses, uh, that's really tight, so there's no loose bits that are gonna get snagged anywhere. Uh, even the paint on the radiator has such a smooth and consistent finish to it, so this system will look amazing in any case that you wanna put it into. Equally, the Tough Ram RC that you need to purchase to use with the Flow RC cooler, they have a, a real quality fit and finish to them and a, a reassuring weightiness to the heat spreaders as well. The fans that come with the kit are PWM and so can be controlled by pretty much any motherboard or fan controller you'd want to use. 
and they're so quiet, so quiet in fact that uh, when I was filming just a moment ago the computer turned itself off and I didn't even realise. What this kit is really all about though is the RGB and boy does it have RGB. The CPU block, memory block and fans combine to form a fantastic light show and if you're all about RGB then this is definitely the kit for you. The kit comes with a controller through which you can set various modes, adjust the colours and the speed that things change. But being 5 volt addressable RGB, it can also be controlled through your motherboard. You can find a list of compatible motherboards on the Thermaltake website through the link below. One thing in particular that I really liked, uh, which may sound strange, is the colour of the screws for the radiator and fans. Uh, now they're a sort of black nickel finish, so it will suit a lot of builds whether you want something really dark or something with a bit of shine, it will suit pretty much anything that you want to install this in. So before we wrap up, I just want to make a note of a couple of things. I'm sure there's already been a few people comment down below about the position and orientation of the radiator. Tubes down! This is actually a build I'm doing for a customer and they very kindly agreed to let me do the firming with their system and it's in a Fractal Defy Meshify C which is a really compact case and as such doesn't have the capacity for a 360 rad in the roof. Uh, with the 3070 also being so long this is the only placement and orientation I could get it inside the case and this is the only case I have available at the minute. So this is really just a demonstration of how you would go about it and ideally you would have the radiator in the roof. So if you want to get this fantastic bit of kit and I can really recommend it, please make sure that your case is able to have a 360 radiator in the roof or that the case that you will be getting is compatible. The keen eyed of you may have noticed that I made a bit of a mess of it applying the thermal paste so when it cuts to the next shot it's gone from across to being spread. I do prefer to spread the thermal paste across the IHS myself rather than just relying on the block pressure. Obviously everybody has their own preference, either the cross, the line, the P, spread it. It doesn't matter! However you want to do it, just make sure you use enough so that you get full coverage on that IHS. So that's it for the Thermaltake Flow RC360, the CPU and memory all in one liquid cooler. I'll leave a link to its webpage on the Thermaltake website below where you can get any details that you want, as well as a link to where you can buy one. If you have any questions for me on the kit or anything else, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, I'm Andy Makin, this is the Thermaltake Flow RC360, this is my lockdown Nago Man here, and I'll catch you on the next one. And do you have to be such a cliché?